This week, what we're gonna do is look at different ways that we can increase our stroke rate or our cadence in different conditions. So what people get most nervous about usually is the start. So how do you paddle off of the start? Do you just progressively paddle at the same rate and then just move off and then hopefully you'll paddle through the rest of the field? Or do you want to get off fast and then settle down into your rhythm? So the best thing to do is practice this in the winter. So practice like 15 seconds, 20 seconds sprints using different straight cadences. Different straight cadences mean that your stroke rate is going to increase, all right? You can play around with different blade sides with this. So the smaller the blade, the shorter the paddle, the quicker you can turn this over. So off the start, we can either do our normal stroke, hand on the top of the handle, okay? Other hand on the shaft, and then we can just turn the paddle over quicker. If you're gonna do it this way, what do you wanna focus on is everything up the front end of the stroke. So don't worry about big, powerful strokes. It's quick, it's getting the board up to speed, almost up to playing speed. It will never get there, but you'll start to feel the board move up onto its nose. Increase the straight cadence, work at the front of the board, okay? Resist the temptation to go into full power strokes until you're getting into your rhythm. So it's a great little thing to put in every kilometer, put a 15 or 20 second sprint in, beginning of that kilometer. Set it up on your watch if you can do. So I talked about a shorter paddle being easier to turn over. All you're gonna do is you're gonna um, push your hand on the shaft. So you can take it lower, you move your bottom hand down too. There's three ways you can do this. Thumb at the top, thumb at the bottom, okay? Or we go through our index finger and then place our palm and hands round, okay? So those are three different ways. Thumb at the top, thumb at the bottom, through the index finger and grab. If we shorten this paddle down by, let's say half a foot, we can turn it over that much quicker. So this is gonna enable us to work at the front of the stroke and tip it over a lot quicker and it enables us to get a little bit of a lead off the start. The most important aspects of your stroke and in racing is to get into clear water, especially if you're looking at flat water. So the flatter the water, the quicker you're going to go, the more stable you become, the more relaxed you can be with your stroke. So get off the start line quicker. When you're coming into finishes and you're, and you're with another person, you use exactly the same thing there. We can take our, our hand down onto the shaft, lower it, to increase the cadence, and then sprint away from our competitors. It's also really important you do this out of a buoy turn. So as soon as you go into the turn, you're gonna be slow. As soon as you get where you wanna go in terms of your direction, get a sprint off there, just to give you a little bit of distance because everybody's gonna slow down into that buoy turn. So you can make a two, three, four meter gain just by accelerating out of the turn. The biggest problem with paddling upwind is that we're paddling into the wind. So we've got a large surface area that we're paddling uh, or putting against the wind. So the best way to do it is get yourself out of the wind. So either get yourself behind someone that's bigger than you, okay, and take some shelter and draft them, or make yourself as small as possible. So again, we can place the hand down the shaft, we can get bent over, and we can paddle from a bent over position. This is gonna minimize your exposure to the wind and gain you, again, meters on your competitors that aren't doing that. So get low to go upwind. When you're going downwind, the exact opposite occurs. So you wanna be as big as possible. Make yourself a sail, okay? The stroke technique changes though. It's very anaerobic. And by that I mean, it's very fast. We're not using, it's not like a rhythm we're going over. You're tapping it up really quick and then you're gliding on the surf that you're catching. So anything in the open ocean or on flat water, if a bump comes through, get onto it. The way you're gonna get onto it is by increasing the stroke rate. So either toggle down, okay, onto your, uh, onto your shaft or go through on your handle and just pick that stroke rate up, work up the front of the stroke, get yourself onto that bump. Anything that you can use to gain those little minimal advantages make a big difference over eight, 10, 12, 20 kilometers, okay? 
Once you've just got, you can't get any faster paddling, you have to paddle smarter. So anything that's given to you for free speed, use it. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or suggestions you want to make uh, or anything that we want to cover in the future, then just let us know.